Morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Mylar Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak. Today is the fifth day in the octave of Christmas. We will now have the morning prayer of the church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. Christ is born for us. Come, let us adore him. Christ is Christ born, born for, for us. Come, come let, let us adore, adore him. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Christ, Christ is, born is born for, for us. us. Come, come, let us adore, adore him. him. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Christ, Christ is born, born for us. Come, come let, let us adore him. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Christ, Christ is born, born for us. Come, come let, let us adore him. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Christ is born for us. Come, let us adore him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Christ is born for us. Come, let us adore him. Please be seated. Tell us, shepherds, what have you seen? Who has appeared on earth? We have seen a newborn infant and a choir of angels praising the Lord. Alleluia. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. The angel said to the shepherds, I proclaim to you a great joy. Today, the Savior of the world is born for you. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all your works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord, praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills bless the Lord, everything growing from the earth bless the Lord. You springs bless the Lord, seas and rivers bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures bless the Lord. Or you birds of the air bless the Lord. Or you beasts wild and tame bless the Lord. You sons of men bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. 
spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. A little child is born for us today, little and yet called the mighty God. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He caused the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Sought for joy and take joy rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty and invisible God, who dispersed the darkness of this world by the coming of your light, look, we pray, with serene countenance upon us, that we may acclaim with fitting praise the greatness of the nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please visit it. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, the way we may be sure that we know Jesus is to keep his commandments. Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. This is the way we may know that we are in union with him. Whoever claims to abide in him ought to walk just as he walked. Beloved, I am writing no new commandment to you, but an old commandment that you had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have heard. And yet, I do write a new commandment to you which holds true in him and among you. For the darkness is passing away, and the true light is already shining. Whoever says he is in the light, yet hates his brother, is still in the darkness. Whoever loves his brother remains in the light, and there is nothing in him to cause a fall. Whoever hates his brother is in darkness. He walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the Lord, because the darkness has blinded his eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. The Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty go before him. Grace and grandeur are in his sanctuary. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Please stand. Alleluia. Alleluia. 
light of revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people, Israel. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, the parents of Jesus took him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Just as it is written, in the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the child of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts might be revealed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Siguro natanggap niyo na yung mga inaasahan niyo, yung mga Christmas wish, yung mga regalo. Siguro nakapag-selfie na rin kayo sa ating mahal na ina. Nakapag-picture, picture sa labas. At uh, higit sa lahat, siguro nakapagsindi na rin kayo ng kandila. Damay no Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, or the Shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, is well known of the decode to rec candle lighting. Kaya kung minsan maobserbahan nyo pag maraming tao, yung candle gallery natin ay parang uh, barbecuehan. Mausok. Dahil sa daming daming tao nagsisindi ng kanilang kandila. At sigurado merong silang wish sa kanilang buhay. Sa pagsindi natin ng kandila sa ating pagdarasal, ano ba yung wish natin? Kung yung mga regalo ay natanggap nyo na, 
na fulfilled na yung mga wish nyo na sana ito yung matanggap ko. Ano naman yung wish nyo sa pagsindi ng kandila? Siyempre, pag magsindi tayo ng kandila, meron tayong hawak-hawak na ilaw sa pamagitan ng kandila. At alam po natin, ang ilaw ang siyang magbibigay sa atin ng liwanag, lalong-lalo na sa ating pagdarasal. Lalong-lalo na sa mga intentions na ating ginagawa. Kapag magdasal tayo, ano ba yung intentions na sinasabi natin? Intention para sa kagalingan ng aking ina na may sakit o ng aking ama o intentions na sana babalik na ang asawa ko sa bahay namin na mimiss na namin sila ng aking, ng aking mga anak o intention na sana maprubahan yung trabaho ko makaalis ako may visa at uh, makapagtabaho ng gusto ng tama Napakaganda ang mga intentions natin. At ang intentions natin ay dapat kasabay ng liwanag ng kandila na sinisindihan natin. Yung intention na makapagbigay ng buhay. Kasi kung minsan may nakikita ako diyan, itim na kandila. Bakit itim ng kandila? Ano bang intention sa pagsindi sa itim na kandila? Kasi ang intensyon ng iba, eh sana mamamatay na itong kalaban ko, yung kaaway ko, yung nagnakaw ng uh, uh, sa bahay ko, yung nang rave sa anak ko, yung pumatay sa kapatid ko. So, ang intensyon, May, madilim. Ang intensyon madilim. Kapag gano'n ang intensyon natin, walang liwanag, ay eh paano makikita ng Diyos ang puso natin? Kung ang puso natin ay punong-puno ng kadiliman. Kadiliman. Sa ating unang pagbasa, napakaganda, napakaganda. Kasi nakikita natin ang liwanag. At sa liwanag na yan, doon makikita ang ating buhay. Kung ang ating buhay ba sumusunod sa liwanag. At walang iba ang liwanag na ito, sa sinabi ni Simeon, ay walang iba kundi itong anak ng Diyos. na hawak-hawak niya. I like to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Yun ang sinasabi ni Simeon. On the other hand, sabi naman ni St. John sa kanyang uh, sulat, Whoever hates his brother is in darkness. He walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. Napakaklaro. Napakaklaro. So if we hate, pag magsindi tayo ng kandila na itim, ng kulay, na meaning death, then that is not the way to follow Christ. But, if we hold on the light like Simeon, even now, at this moment, we can pray with Simeon, Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you prepared in the sight of every people, 
a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. We will stand. Simeon's sight of the child Jesus was a fulfilled promise. Let us bring our hopes and prayers to the Father who is ever faithful to his promises. Let our response be, Faithful Lord, hear our prayer. Faithful Lord, hear our prayer. That the family of the church may be an example and a guide to the nations of the world in the search for the harmony and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Faithful Lord, hear our prayer. That you may show greater appreciation to our family members whose love we take for granted. Let us pray to the Lord. Faithful Lord, hear our prayer. That families who are separated may be reconciled with one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Faithful Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may receive the warmth of love and support from family members. Let us pray to the Lord. Faithful Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we, whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Faithful Lord, hear our prayer. For justice, peace, and development of the country, and for our brothers and ministry at St. Saint, Saint Lawrence Ruiz and Most Holy Rosary, let us pray to the Lord. Faithful Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak, and for our personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Faithful Lord, hear our prayer. That eternal rest and perpetual light may be granted to those who have departed from this world. Let us pray to the Lord. Faithful Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, clothe us in kindness and patience. As we grow in age, may we increase in maturity and become more like your Son. We make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all grace, and for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruits of divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. 
you lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this old filled mystery, true invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages. He has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call string humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we are playing. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift you pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this soul of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this soul of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, his assistant, Gerard, our master of the order, the religious, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with our Father Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please all stand. At the severe command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the hope of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I love you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of the living God. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, word my and my soul shall, shall be healed.
Please all stand. The shepherds said to one another, Let us make our way to Bethlehem and see for ourselves this thing which the Lord has revealed to us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has He's come to his people, people and set, set them free. He has reserved for us a mighty Savior, one of the hosts of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He, he promised, promised to show mercy to our fathers, fathers and, to and to remember his holy covenant. covenant. This was the oath his word to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, you my child shall be called the prophet of the, of the Most High, High. For, for you will go before the Lord, the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, the to the Father and to the Son and to the, Son, to the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. The shepherds said, said to one another, another let, let us make our way to Bethlehem, Bethlehem and see for ourselves this thing which, which the Lord has revealed to us. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these holy mysteries, our life may be constantly sustained through Christ our Lord. Amen. In behalf of the Dominican Fathers and the Mind of Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manavag, I wish you a Merry Christmas. And thank you very much for your presence, especially during this Eucharistic celebration. Let us continue praying for one another. Pandemic is not yet over. So let us keep safe and enjoy the season. Ingat po tayo lahat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We will now have the blessing of our sick brothers and sisters. Kindly remember the names of your loved ones who are sick in, at home or in the hospital. We will also bless your religious articles. Our hope is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. To be kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For your religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we all the rosaries, images, candles, soil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.